happen. I left Australia, went to Shanghai for a couple of days, then got back to Belgium, uh, stayed there for about a month or so. Then uh, Canada was like for looking for temporary work, but find something much better. So uh, visited South of France, uh, did a bunch of interview, get a contract, uh, get a job. <laughs> Pleasant train ride uh, up to here in X. Uh, I just arrived. I'm gonna get my rental car. Just one thing: I'm traveling with a bag, a luggage that's like that, and it's oversized. Uh, so if you, if you have anything that's bigger than a carry-on for an airplane, they're gonna charge you 20, 20 euros at the train station when you get in the train. Uh, and it's five euros if you get it on the online so just think about that with we go so yeah let's get that car see what it looks like Got a good little car, uh, brand new, uh, for quite cheap. So let's get around and head to my brother's. So that day of interviews is done. A uh, pretty busy day at the first company, which seems to really be interesting in my profile. Interested in my profile. Uh, I'm gonna go check one of the clients tomorrow with them, but it seems to be kind of a done deal. Uh, second company is less my cup of tea, and the process is only starting anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see, uh, but things are working out pretty well. Uh, back into the place where I spent a lot of time during my childhood, uh, during the holidays. So that would be cool to move here, it's really scenic. It would make some great videos and hikes and everything. Better than Belgium, at least to me. So yeah. I'm uh, definitely gonna seize an opportunity if it presents itself S and have some good times and good experience. You don't often see me in a shirt, so at least not that kind of shirt. So enjoy. I'm gonna have to drive back to my brother's, which is like two hours away, and then back again tomorrow morning, so that's gonna be a lot of driving. And that's okay because I have some music to listen to and I also have to practice my introduction. So let's do that. Just sign a contract with a new company to work with them uh, starting by the end of May. So that's a good news. Uh, definitely made it worth to come here, see my family, my brother, and yeah, uh, just getting things done and knowing where I'm going because it was kind of like unsure for the last couple days. Uh, now I know that I have to get ready for that and can enjoy until then. I still have to figure out some things about Hellfest, so I'll, I'll just figure it out 
as it comes. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be apparently working in this area in the south of France, uh, maybe a little bit more west of here, but the the office that I signed with is around this part. So it's also the a way to rediscover uh, the place that I where I spent a lot of time when I was a kid uh, during my holidays, summer holidays. I spent a lot of time around here. So yeah gonna go keep hunting a couple of space invaders. I haven't found any yet here uh, down south but I have a couple hints uh, from what I found online so let's go check that. <laughs> Actually, quite incredible to think that there would be an abandoned house in such an area. It's so expensive to live here, and apparently, this private property is just abandoned and nobody's doing anything about it, which is kind of like insane. But yeah, let's do it. So, invader number one. Uh, so, it's the CAZ. Uh, 023 023 uh, can't scan it anymore can actually see here a couple of remaining tiles from the invader I'm gonna try to scan it but since there's so few left of it <laughs> some time to settle in then everything had to rush uh, everything rush 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 non-stop uh, found a place where I am right, right now here uh, only stayed here for about a week because for whatever administrative reason I have to move somewhere else I'm moving somewhere else right now I found a place paid for it I'm doing it there and back uh, this weekend I flew took a plane to Belgium to get my motorbike because the first week of work that was last week I used the train and so now I went to la uh, Saturday I took the plane Saturday morning I took the plane to get to Belgium uh, got my motorbike got a motorbike down here uh, that was quite of a story so back in Belgium uh, got the motorbike actually nothing needed to be fixed uh, loaded the motorbike, uh, still need to put a bunch of stuff that I'll put last minute because uh, it's not locked and it's expensive. Uh, get a pond, a uh, hole between the rain and then heading south. Uh, only will ride until Lyon and then Sundays go back home. All right, let's get on the road. Space Invader. All right, find my first. 
first invader in Lyon. Yay! Let's keep going. That's it for a little uh, street art parenthesis here in Lyon. I got exactly 10 uh, Space Invaders. The city is waking up and there's goddamn noise everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, gonna head up to the last hostel, take my stuff back and meet my friend. Pretty freezing trip. Uh, physically a little bit tired, but mentally very awake for work and everything. Uh, still got to do uh, heaps of things. Uh, life is going fast. It's very fun. Uh, weather is beautiful. Uh, everybody's complaining here because it's cold, but to me it's really not cold. I'm just gonna do a bunch of there and back to my new place and move there. So that's about it for this uh, little quick update video. Uh, gonna be here uh, next to Nice in France working for quite a while I think if everything goes well. So yeah, new places to explore with motorbikes and everything. I'll do some b-roll of the area, uh, show you around uh, and uh, keep you up to date about what's happening down here. I have plenty of things going on, so thank you for watching, I uh, hope you liked the video, remember that it's, easy. it's not funny and see you in the next one.